Good morning, folks. Here's the last 24 hours of our star. Doesn't look too menacing. No big flashes. No filaments erupting in our direction. Big dark coronal holes on the disk. But then at the end of this sequence, in just the last few hours of this early morning, a filament released from the southwestern limb, departing bottom right. This was one of the moderate-sized filaments that faced Earth over the last week. It lifted until the magnetic fields could no longer contain the plasma, and it snapped out as a gorgeous coronal mass ejection. Coronagraph imagery will come later today, but preliminarily we can say that this eruption will miss Earth because it erupted off the side of the Earth-facing disk out ahead of Earth's orbit. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find that the filament CME was about all there is. No big flares. The northern sunspots depart top right, leaving only the small incoming spots, but they may not be small for long. Growth and spread is evident in these morning hours. Gamma burst came yesterday out of Ursa Major, well north in the heavens. The other incoming was the better story, though. A co-rotating interaction region twisted the phi, then presented its density, and now speed is rising as well. We're in a level 2 geomagnetic storm, so we'll begin to watch for effects from it. Plasma has already been penetrating for days, and we expect another space weather impact any time in the next day from that stream of the equatorial coronal hole. And this coronal hole has been the focus of power analysis. Back in the early days of coronal hole quake watches, years ago, it was all about size and how close to the equator it could be found. But now we can monitor the force via solar wind speed emanating from the region. And that big boy up there was weak for a while, but now has begun to gain force. I know I've held off the quake watch thus far, even with it facing Earth. And over at QuakeWatch.net, we've been at moderate watch levels for days and days. But now that the power is returning, we've bumped up to elevated. Eyes open today. Folks, you can become a near-sun expert in fast fashion in two different ways. The first is how to watch the sun, our 2013 overview of space weather. Then, in 2014, we saw the need to simplify and break it down, so the Sun series was developed to turn you into a solar-watching phenom in one hour. My only comment is to ignore the links on those videos. Noah has changed them all, which is why we made spaceweathernews.com for you guys to have it all together. The countdown continues. Ten days to observing the frontier. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania will host the observers as we come together under the conjunction of Mars and Jupiter for a little leap forward in science. And also, folks, if you go to suspiciousobservers.org and scroll down past the morning news, which is always the first video, you'll find a ton of other videos, including the Sun series, and these vital must-watches for our community, especially the earthquake frontier. Top news article today is about magnetic skirmions and our new method of detection. They come in two forms, spiral vortices and the one in focus here, a hedgehog skirmion. Let's come to windyty.com and check out our top viewer locations. Wind bursts, switching to pressure. Joaquin moving on as we switch to radar and satellite. And focus begins to shift west to Oho in the Pacific, tracking towards Vancouver. We're also watching the U.S. southwest, rainfall in the desert. In Europe, we see the big low up north with a tow over the UK. It drives the convergence line, but that will move on quickly tonight. And Joaquin's remnants are racing across the pond. Down under, the pressure remains mostly south of the landmass, but over the next few hours, New Zealand will watch some weather roll in from the south. If you can't make it out to Pittsburgh for the conference, at least consider becoming a member at suspiciousobservers.org. We have hundreds of hours of material for the price of a two-hour movie on Blu-ray, with new material posted every few days. We've got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.